So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that Valorant is fully closed. So you might need to scroll down to find Valorant or Riot Games or Vanguard. If you see any one of them, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. If you see anything that says Valorant, Riot Games or Vanguard, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in edit the system environment variables. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on the advanced tab and then you want to click on environment variables. Then you want to select new under system variables. Then you want to copy and paste the variables which I'll leave down below in the description. So this is the first one. And then for the second one, just copy and paste both of these and then click on OK. And then click on OK again. Now for the next step, I'm going to leave three links down below. For NVIDIA, AMD and Intel, you want to download the latest drivers for your graphics card. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Then you want to find where you saved your Valorant game on. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, Riot Games, Valorant. And then here it is right here. It might be in a different location for you. Then you want to find the Valorant EXE file. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on Properties. And then click on Compatibility. And then you want to make sure that Disable Full Screen Optimizations has been selected and run this program as administrator has also been ticked. And then click on OK. For the last step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.